Instagram is one of the world's most popular social media platforms and often bans accounts that don't meet its community guidelines. But sometimes innocent accounts can get caught in the crossfire. My name is Adullah, you're watching Candidate Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can resolve the device ban issue on Instagram and what it really is. As I said before, Instagram often bans accounts that may or may not meet its community guidelines and sometimes innocent accounts get caught in the crossfire. If that is the case, you will obviously not be able to log into your own Instagram app. So the first way of fixing it is if you have an alternative account, log in via that, then head over to your profile page, tap the hamburger menu icon, scroll all the way down where you see help, go ahead and tap on it. Then head over and tap on report a problem. Now, uh, once you're here, uh, you will see a bunch of options, uh, especially the shake your phone to remote uh, report a problem option. And now uh, we're not going to do that. And since we're not submitting reports about abuse or spam either, we are good to go. So just go ahead and tap on the I button that says report a problem without shaking. Uh, this would ask you if you want to include your uh, logs and diagnostics. Uh, since we're reporting for a different account, we're not going to do that. So tap on don't include and continue. And now you can explain what your problem is here and send this report to Instagram. Uh, if you've done that and that doesn't seem to help your problem, the next step would be to head over to your web browser and then open up Instagram here. So uh, this will ask you if you want to launch the uh, Instagram external app. We're not going to do that. We're going to stay in Microsoft Edge. And now you have uh, the Instagram login page where you can uh, enter your username and credentials and then go ahead and log into your program just to see if that helps resolve the issue. Just so we know that your app isn't suffering any problems. Alternatively, what you can also do is use a VPN. Now, uh, using a VPN means uh, your IP address will be changed. So, for example, the IP address you see up top, if I connect to a VPN, it will be changed to a different IP address, which means any IP blocking attempts should not work now. So, now if I head back and I refresh Instagram, it asks me if I want to allow cookies in the browser because it detects that this is coming from a new place. So, we're going to go ahead and decline optional cookies. And now you can go ahead and log in once more. Alternatively, if that doesn't work, on the Instagram login page in your browser, head over to the help section and make sure that you disable your VPN for this. Now, once we are here, we're going to have to search uh, our help article. So this would be I can't log in or disabled Instagram account, whatever your issue is. Now, in here, Instagram will say that if your account was deleted by you or someone else with your password, there's no way to restore it, which is right. But since your account hasn't been deleted, it's been deactivated, we should be able to restore it. Now, uh, under this prompt, just tap on no. And then uh, you can tap anything. Let's say the solution didn't work. And then you get another report something to Instagram option right here. So you go ahead and tap on that. So, uh, if you're unable to log in, you could try visiting these pages on your desktop browser to help uh, get a better interface so that you can report and type things out more easily. But essentially, the only way out of this pinnacle is to either use a VPN and change the IP address or report the issue to Instagram consistently until they decide to revoke your account. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website, candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.